Head back down. I didn't mean to fall off, but well, it's okay. Now we can go up Caxon's elevator. Yay. Okay, so now we're at the top of the tower. This whole area it just seems so small. Like, it's weird to say that, I guess, but like, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's something weird about it like we go through like a few really small linear biomes and that's it see the tallest tower over yonder confessor i've scried an auto coach at its peak that should take us to the cradle be careful making your way across these platforms look awfully unsteady and it's a long way down uh-huh sure is there we go Okay. Sword did not... Upgraded sword does not make a huge difference in the amount of damage that I deal. Feels like it should, but... Now, what's over here? See, like, this is just a straight line with just this one coach at the end of it, and that's it. And all it has is gold in a chest. Okay. And bury an ore. All right. Like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's just odd. This was probably the last part added to the game. So I get it. But it does just feel very sparse by comparison, I suppose, is, like, the most appropriate way to describe it. Like, it's just... It just doesn't feel like much going on here. It has a little bit of, like, the ending of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines going on it here, where it's, like, they it really feels like they're just, like, all right, go forward, go forward, push through, push through. Looks like something bigs up ahead. Let's not get careless. Let's join up arms. So they drop iron ore. That's nice. I really don't need stamina potions. My stamina is forever <laughs> at this point. Maybe I'll swap those over to uh, shielding potions. Sure. I'll put bombs. Telescope also not really necessary. True. Sure, poison on my weapon. I'll have it ready to put on my weapon. Alright. Auto coach time. So that's the cradle. Presumably. I think as well, like, all of the different, like, the, the reason why I've been kind of skipping dialogues is because every single time I tried, it's like they usually said either the same thing or just a variant of the same thing. So there's, like, it's a little bit weird there, too, where you think you're, like, at every single waypoint where it updates to bring your characters along, they would have something really meaningful and interesting to say. But usually they just repeat your goals or go, like, wow, this place is in ruins. Just like, huh. Well, here we are at last, the cradle. Looks like no alehouse I've ever seen, he chuckles. This platform should take us inside. When we get to Vela, you can do the talking, Confessor. I reckon that's the best chance we've got. If she sees the rest of us, she'll only want to talk with her swords. What with us being mutineers and all. Guessing your superiors want her brought in quietly, but if things go south, and I'm betting they will, we'll have your back. There may only be a handful of us, but we've faced tough odds before. 
Uh, I'll talk Valinda coming quietly. He says, oh, I hope it'll be that easy, Confessor, for our sake and for Vela's. Just know that if she tries to slit your throat, we'll be ready to jump in. Oh my, this cradle really is enormous, isn't it? I'm sure even the stonemasons who built our endless mausoleums would break a sweat at the sight of this. Yep, and that's really all there is to say. Frost is starting, staring at the cradle in silent awe. His former exuberance stopped dead in his tracks. I, uh, please forgive my ineloquence. I find myself quite overcome. What's the matter? He pauses for a while as he mulls his words. In matters of religion, confessor, I am my father's son, and my mother's, for that matter. Apostates to the end. They fled their homeland rather than truckle to any god. But this place, the power, the industry, the knowledge that its existence represents, I can find no other word for it but holy. Is this what the devout feel towards their gods? Being here makes my stomach churn, but make no mistake, my store will swing true. If it were up to me, I'd rush to Vela head on, give her no time to think before I cleave her in two. But Basalt thinks we should hold back, assess the situation while you two have a little chat. And loath as I am to admit it, the bastard's usually right. Sure. Sure. Is there going to be an escape sequence? That's Vela. Yeah, there's nothing else. It's just her. Just the end. I think it's time to end this. Vela, Callus. Vela stands with poise, her commands booming through the chamber as Dark Star mercenaries scurry at her beck and call. Attempt to approach silently. You creep towards Vela, your soft steps muffled by the clamor. You're nearly close enough to intervene when her head snaps around, her eyes fixed upon you. Freeze and say nothing. An intruder here? We're leagues under the Sky Realms. In a place as dangerous as it is inhospitable, you must be incredibly capable or extremely stupid to follow me here. She squints. Hold on, you're that whelp who had the gall to approach me in the blinding light, aren't you? A thin smile spreads across her lips. My, you've had quite the journey, Inquisitor. I almost didn't recognize you. But you must have had help, she ponders a moment. Only Orleith saw the map that led here. She wouldn't have decided to come on her own, so Basalt must have convinced her. And if he was putting a team together, Caxton Frost would be the top of that list, maybe the Duchess as well. She shakes her head. But it can't just be Basalt leading this. He'd never have joined the Inquisition without persuasion. It can only be... care. You don't deny it. She grins. So a pack of traitors, led by a fledgling Inquisitor, have come to nip at my heels. Tell me, just what are you hoping to achieve? All I care about is my freedom. If I have to cut off your head, so be it. So at the first chance you would resort to violence and barbarism, she touched theatrically. Such self-involved thinking is what's wrong with this world. She gestures at the aberrant being that fills your vision. This extraordinary entity will be our salvation. It will mend our broken world and abolish the evils of humanity. All we need to do is awaken it, and we are so nearly ready. What is that thing? Some would call it a god, but that would be to diminish its power, for the gods are of this world and are bound by its rules. Hmm. I have something between my teeth. There we go. This, is, this being is of the void, the non-place of pure creation, where time and space act in mysterious ways. We know not whether the Imbarians plucked it whole from that realm or wove its corporeal flesh from void stuff. Regardless, the ancient Imbarian dialect, they called it an angel, after the mythical creatures of Middle Age lore. How is it so powerful? Reality is formed from the semiotics of Cypher. It is the language that flows through all things, the truth behind the illusion that dances before our eyes. With study, we may learn it to alter its flow, its rhythm. We may tweak a word here, adjust a sentence there, and this is the basis of all magic. What we cannot do is alter the language of Cypher itself. There are strict rules by which we must adhere, absolute and unbreakable limits upon what is possible. But this entity that stands before us, being of the void... It is fundamentally separate from our laws. It has the power to change the very essence of reality. Waking it up seems like a terrible idea, she grins. The process is not without its dangers. The Imbarians built this structure as an incubator for the angel. They have succeeded in waking it. Their tyranny would have enslaved the world for eternity. We're fortunate that the lesser evil occurred, for in stirring the angel they caused the world rend and nearly obliterated all of existence. But we have learned from their mistakes. We will use the angel to turn this world into a heaven, where every soul is free and equal. With the best of intentions, you would only make a tyranny of your own design. You think yourself quite the philosopher, speaking in absolutes, but even if you were to define the freedom I would bestow as a sort of tyranny, it would be vastly preferable to the current state of affairs. Her eyes glint as they look into your own. You see, Inquisitor, there is such beauty in us, such majesty, such potential. I have sailed the Sky Realms and seen such wonders. She waves her hand. Nay, not the void obelisks of Alice Fara, or the thousand spires of Biona University. I have seen the nuns of the vagrant hospice tending to their enemies. I have seen a man give his life to the blood barons of Terran. 
so that a stranger might live. She sighs. I've seen a child recently orphaned, her face speckled with blood, offer me the last of her bread. She steps closer. But wherever my sails have taken me, I have seen the hopes and dreams of the common folk crushed by oppressors. Be they Union, Wiccan, or otherwise. Everywhere I go, the poor ride in the mud so the rich may sleep in silk. Once I thought my sword could right the wrongs of the world, that morals and ethics could guide my blade. But I've seen too many skyships burn and too often breathe the stench of human flesh to believe that still. In truth, I had lost hope until I had visions of an angel. Hmm. Through the oneric interference of an interface of an Imbarian map, I realized then what could be achieved. I'm wondering if I could have used the dream potions to see the same things. I don't know. That would be interesting. Sorry, I'm sniffing. Her stare gains a fiery intensity. I would empower us all so that every peasant stands equal to their lord. I would blunt every sword, shatter every cannon so that not a drop of blood would spill. She looks down, her expression suddenly vulnerable. And I would banish death itself so that no heart would ever be broken. This will be our heaven and soon we will have it. Oh no, it's Merica and Mikola's folly. An admiral dream, admirable dream, but is it really possible? She grins. I suppose we're about to find out. Very soon, I will awaken the angel, but for the betterment of the Sky Realms and its people. Uh, not out of greater selfishness, but for betterment. Mm -hmm. Do I want to help her, or do I want to fight her? Helping her, I think, is like the... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. So my thoughts are like ending her preserves the status quo, but is less of a risk. I want to help you in any way I can is like I don't know. I don't know. It is something, because I, I do, I think I personally would help her. Like, even if the folly exists. The potential for hope is really good. And really important, and like even like even five hundred years of positive existence would be worth it, because eventually someone could do this all again. But like at the same time, like we don't know anything about this. And Vela might be right, and she has seen things. It's interesting. Hmm. I want to help you in any way I can. Uh, I think my player character would be... I mean, he really just wants to be out from under the thumb of the Inquisition. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know which one I want. I think I would probably choose to help her. But I also, again, having just come off, <laughs> having just come off the, uh, the Elden Ring DLC, it's like, it is the folly. But I also would have, you know, given my own personal, like, choices, I would definitely side with Mikola. So, like, I don't know. It's hard. 
Hmm. I want to help you in any way I can. She grinned and said, it's either the most obvious Inquisition cover story I've ever heard or in usually a uh, triple bluff. Nothing personal, but I can't risk letting you tag along. Bear Vela bellows to her crew. Awaken the angel. I don't care if the preparations are incomplete. We have to run out of time. All right, so it just doesn't seem like there was a choice there. Her eyes return to you. I'm terribly sorry about this. I wish there was another way, but there isn't. The coming days are crucial. Now that it's awake, we have many delicate rituals and cipher words to enact, and you cannot be allowed to meddle in such a momentous endeavor. So I'm afraid this is goodbye. We will not meet again. From behind you, you hear Jack Basalt yelling at the top of his lungs, Fella, no. Oh, she killed me. A valiant effort, human. The words ring through you to your throbbing head. Here we are again. And once again, I have plucked you from the jaws of death. One of many times, I might say, though there is no shame in that. You have performed your task admirably. But confronting Vela again will prove a formidable challenge. The embarrassing craft she has commandeered will not be so easily assailed the second time. To fight your way through, you will surely need my assistance. The entity rattles its chains. These void steel shackles are bound with Vela's magic. Only by her hand or her death will I be freed. I am placing my trust in you, human. Guess I have no choice. The deity nods its conjoined heads. Now make your way to the High Confessor. I believe she wishes to speak with you. Oh, it put me up here by mistake? This would have been a much cooler cutscene right here. Why did Vela capture you? Why else she craved my power? In her arrogance, it was not enough for I cannot revive someone who is long dead. There are no gods who can save perchance the dreamers themselves. She kept me chained here, such as a starry state of the world, that no followers came to save me, not even the Wiccans came to my aid. Damn that cursed god war. I think we already knew that. Okay, I guess I have to go speak to the High Confessor and then rush Vela's capital and just do it all over again? That's so annoying. Authoritative voice balloons from the ship's sound relays. You assume it belongs to Admiral Callus of the Union Navy. Navy. It's simply out of the question. Need I remind you, High Confessor, care that your position of authority in this tribunal is in spite of your numerous crimes against the Union, most of which were committed alongside Vela herself. I care not if you sent an incorrigible band of felons to find my daughter. Considering your history with Vela, I cannot in good conscience allow you or your lackeys anywhere near her. So you will use that dilapidated old relic of an airship to hold the flank. You will not interfere with this operation, which is solely in the hands of the apostatic Union Navy. You are dismissed. Is care? Is this the? Is this confessor or inqu high in inquisitor or whatever? Is are they the ghost we've seen down on the ground? That insufferable fool of all the people responsible for this nightmare. He is hardly blameless. If he had been a father to Vela when she needed one. A loud clang rang out from the coffin, and he would beat her at her own twisted game. They want to steal it, Confessor 17. The Navy wants the cradle for themselves, so the Union subjugation of the Sky Realms is absolute. So what are we going to do? The sigh rings out. I suppose I will have to hold the flank, just as Admiral, uh, Admiral Callus demands. It is too late with too much at stake to rock the boat now. There must be a way. There is always a way, Confessor. We have a card to play yet. While you were off getting yourself killed, the rest of your team managed to escape the Underlands aboard the Cutter, thanks to Frost's repairs. As you have no doubt noticed, the Cradle has made its ascent to the Sky Realms. The Union Navy, finally realizing the gravity of the situation, showed up in full force. But they can't punch through. The Cradle's defensive shield, some sort of highly advanced Imbarian tech, so for the moment they are at a stalemate. So all we have to do is slip past both, pilot the Cutter, and sneak your strike team past the largest fleet in the world, and through an impenetrable Imbarian shield to stop the most dangerous person alive. What could be simpler? How would we get past the fleet? In its current state, the cutter would be detected once, at once by the Navy's astronautical wiz wizards, but Caxton Frost has an idea. There are legends of an ancient Imbarian skycraft, a phantom vessel able to break any barrier or evade any pursuit, said to be wrecked in the world rend, never to be seen again. Many have searched for the crashed vessel without success. Scryers find nothing or suffer ap apoplexy. The Union Navy considers it merely a myth. Frost believes otherwise. There are rumors of a particular island with an Imbarian wreck that has been drifting through the Sky Realms. That very island has strayed into the Orn Oneric Isles. Search the most distant islands in the Oneric Isles and find whatever power it is that hides the wreck from scrying mines. Then you might slip past the Navy blockade. So how can I actually get to those islands? You cannot pilot the cutter as Frost needs to modify it before your assault on the cradle. No, it seems you will need your own airship. Take this writ of permission, it will help you bypass a bureaucratic nightmare of purchasing a vessel from the Winged Merchants Guild. As for the hefty fee you will no doubt be required to pay, I cannot help you, our coffers are empty. And take this time to make sure you are fully prepared for the fight ahead. I do not think this situation will resolve anytime soon and assaulting the cradle will be no easy task. Now you should get going. I have my own troubles to attend to. What troubles? Oh, it is a rather delicate matter. If I am honest, your help would be appreciated. 
as you have no doubt noticed there are tensions between this tribunal and the wider union. Both the Navy and my Inquisition superiors have begun to question my loyalty to the cause, so they have asked me to issue a command they know I will find disagreeable. There is a small house in the western forest of Hollowshire where our agents have stumbled upon a certain godlet. This tiny stunted god would be of little significance, only my superiors know that in years past it was in my care, that I was fond of the thing. She is silent a moment. This is not the time to arouse their suspicions. You must go to this godlet, slay it on my orders, and then we will continue as normal. I'll kill... Uh, tell me about the godlet. She slams the inside of the coffin. Does it matter, confessor? They are shriveled, pathetic forms of diminished gods. They have been thousands scattered around the year... Uh, scattered around since the god war. The Inquisition destroys more of them every day. This one is no different. I'll kill it for you. Thanks, confessor. Remember, you'll find it in the western forest of Hallowshire. Take this void scalpel. Only void steel can harm a god. Use it to slit its throat. Okay, well... Alrighty then, I guess. <laughs> sure. It's whatever. Okay, so we were not at the end of the game. Uh, so we do have some time left to do some stuff. Man, I feel so weak. I also need cash, but I can sell things like um I don't know I can sell a bunch of stuff <laughs> alright so we have to go through Pwill to Hallowshire And then I gotta sell basically all of my extra equipment. Maybe even like make some of my equipment a little bit better and then sell it. Move much faster now, which is very nice. Something has indeed changed. The sky is full of airships. I'm not going to use that. Nope. Uh, I will go up here and I will sell stuff. So that I can have cash. I don't know how much cash I need. If this is going to be like an awful grind, I'm going to be very exhausted. Okay, what do I can I sell? Literally nothing else. Okay. Well. Fair blade would be plenty for sale. So me what you have for sale. Uh, definitely getting rid of my bow because I'm just, I don't think I'm going to use it. I mean, it does actually a lot of damage. Maybe I should upgrade the bow. You know what? Okay, this doesn't give me any more like money for sales, so that's a bummer. That's fine. Hmm. 
it's interesting that I can't make that any better. It feels like I should be able to. Like it's just like a little bit odd that I can't. to sell really not really okay hmm all right let's see what kind of cash we're working with here man beams at you with well practice hospitality I humbly welcome you to the airship dock of Hallowtown Power master here. No time to important. Exporting. Do you have customs to declare? Or he eyes you up and down and falls. You are a member of the guild, are you not? Want to purchase a ship and I have rid of permission right here. He inspects it. Uh, my, my. I think this is actually genuine. Well, in that case, I have a small cog for 200 coin if it pleases you. I'll take it. All right. Well, first thing, take this deed to your airship. It's legal proof of ownership, so don't lose it. Next, I'll arrange the cog to be brought to this port. You should be able to see it docked at the jetty outside when we're done here. Now, if you have this rid of permission, I assume you're well versed in the nuances of sailing and the intricacies of union trade law, or the polymath would never have approved you. But in this case, do you have any questions? How do I upgrade my vessel? Every dock has an airship upgrade system where you can outfit your ship with different components. New components can be bought from a harbor master like myself. Three component types, hull, sails, cabin. You'll find that as well as altering how your airship looks, they can change how it handles in the skies. Remember that different harbor masters have different types of upgrades for sale. Always check in at your local airship dock to see if they have something you want. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. I want to purchase airship upgrades. Huh, so everyone has different upgrades. That's interesting. So, for example... This is, yeah, another thing to fucking upgrade. Okay, uh, what happens if I go back to Thornwood and use the dock at Thornwood? Is it truly just aesthetics? Or does it have a performance impact? Because if some are more expensive and are better, then maybe I'll just do that and not waste my time. He's got nothing. Okay. Well, interesting. I am positive that it's probably not actually necessary to do any of this, but uh, let's go to the Endless Realm. Here we go. All right, let's check out the airship situation here. All right, endless sails. Okay, interesting. So some of them are more expensive. These patch and ragged sails, once black, now faded to dingy gray, inspire little confidence until the wind fills them and glimmers of cipher show in the gaps. Powerful enchantments hold together these fragile threads. Let's buy those. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. Not where I want to be. Down here. Uh, Clockwork Kingdom. And now let's go to this airship dock. See what's for sale here. 
I definitely am running out of sources of cash, which is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Wrong way. It's over here, I think. Somewhere? Where is it? Where is the... There we go. Over here. Want to purchase airship upgrades? They don't sell any. Okay. Well... I guess I can just buy the... Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. There we go. I guess I'll just... I don't know. Ship's anchor can't be lowered. Oh. Okay, so I can literally just fly. Okay. What the heck? This is bizarre. I wasn't expecting like late game Final Fantasy travel. Okay. Interesting. Very weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. Clockwork ore. What the fuck is this? Amalgam of clockwork machinery. The strange stuff can be used to upgrade an Imbarian weapon to clockwork. Oh, it ticks and whirs in your hands. Mechanism in search of its machine. Okay. So clockwork weapons are probably better than Imbarian weapons then? <laughs> Pretty good. Anything else down here? Just an eye of Pygoth. Well, this is cool. This is a cool little treat. Uh, I definitely want to go to the sloop. I want to get the sloop uh, hull and stuff because, I don't know, seems appropriate. That's the city of progress. This is really, the controls here are awful. <laughs> it is cool, but they do not, they're not good. This is very bizarre feeling controls. Who the fuck? Oh! This is the Imbarian Vault. Okay, I did all this already. Was there anything else here for me that I had to leave waiting? I don't know. Hmm. There was an Imbarian Vault, like down near um, Will. Paul, fine. I want the sloop cabin. Give me the sloop cabin. Uh, let's go over here. And I'll just sell some clothes. 
Uh, never gonna use wizard robes. Don't need them. Resplendent attire. That gives me regen, which is actually kind of useful. Assassin's Brigandine. I think I'm using right now. Arcanist hat. Selling. Never gonna touch. Mm. Can I sell stuff here? What can I sell? This is not worth selling stuff. Fuck. Um, hmm. I guess you win today, game. What a beautiful little place. All right. Um... Where? I don't really know why this is doing this. Ugh. Sure. All right. It's convenient that it literally just drops it exactly where you are. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is the confessor. I think that's care. Or Kyer. Okay, so this was the Invariant Vault. Neat. Quick Step Socks. Much repaired socks approve, uh, provide a permanent boost to your agility. Hugging your toes warmly, these socks uh, seem to know better than you do where to put your feet. Neat. Uh, that's a pretty good upgrade. Do these. No, they're not even something like this. They just they just do. They just are a permanent boost to your agility. Interesting. Curious. I think I'll make a clockwork bow if it is uh, more powerful just because I, I think bows are just like the best weapons in the game maybe based on overall damage output like I don't know because looking at their actual damage it was way higher than the Embarian sword all right okay so she said West Hallow there's a little place. Kill the godlet. Is it in the same house that the Vierm was in? the heck? How did I not get all that stuff before? That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Is the squirming godlet in there? This is the only, like, house in Western Hallow that I can think of. Oh, come on. Let me hop. Let me hop. Let me hop, please. <sighs> Darn it. go away. Pressing the right button on my D-pad just like hated me for a second. How did I get up here before? I think I just had to jump. There we 
There we go. There's a VRM in here still for some reason. Even though we've already killed it and already delivered its spell book. I guess this enemy just respawns here. That's so... It's so sloppy. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when I said, like, the game... The, these things, like, the quests don't feel like they're complete. They just, like, don't feel like they're working. I don't really know what the deal is there. All right. Western Hallow... I don't know. Ambarian Ruin. Uh, Golden Typhos. Paguthian Dungeon. Maybe it's in the hollow forest, right? So maybe it's this thing. Okay, she looks at you. Wait, what's the second self? Long ago, the goblins of this forest perpetrated a heinous evil. To this day, their kind still bears a burden of this guilt. So they carve themselves a new self in the form of a mask. When the goblins wear these, they appear to be altered as if by some magic or merely an act I cannot say. Y'all carry some guilt human. If you wish to acknowledge your own wrongdoings, you may claim a mask for yourself. Okay, so it's not them. It's not there. Let's look at the quest log. Western Forest of Hallowshire. I assumed this was it, but is it not? Like, I don't know. Where is... This is Hallowshire. This is Hallowtown. Western Forest. Is it down there? No, because I just was there. So is it right here? Is it this place? Like, I don't know. Very odd. Truly not sure what to think. I, I don't know. Because this is the only forest I can see. Or the only house I can see. There is a death thing right there. I've already read that. Disguise the truth of things. Yes, I understand. this even mean? <laughs> like, I don't remember. Alright, so Hallow Forest. Where is this? I mean, it's gotta be here, right? Or is it way down here? I don't know. This is super odd. I guess I can just keep going south, like... Because when I think of the forest, I think of the area near the Endless Realm. But I guess maybe this is Hallow Forest down here. And there's maybe a house somewhere. Truth Potion. Nice. That's actually useful. Okay. Let's see. Is it just there? Is that it? No, because that's what's his name's house. The one with about talking about Aristide's Rock. Right? Yes. Or maybe Aristides. Maybe that's how it's pronounced, I don't know. Hmm. Up 
upgrades just kind of feel like a fake economy in this game. Man, where is the Hollow Forest? Because I have no idea where a house would be in Western Hollow Forest. That doesn't count because that's where the Wiccan thing was. And this is South Hollow. Is there a house here? There's something hidden around here because there's a Wiccan statue. Right? That's what we're supposed to believe. I don't know. I, I don't know if I care. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Huh. Is it this? Is this what she's talking about? Because this just leads to the vertical shell. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this leads to the Pygoth Shrine, doesn't it? It's an Imbarian ruin. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need... Maybe it's this? I don't know. I have no idea. I've already been all over this place, so... But then again, I did find this place and then never felt like there was anything substantial here, so maybe this is why? Where am I? In there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is like pretty central hollow, so I'm not sure. I did slay their gods. They're probably pissed at me. Uh, let's just do this. Return home. And then this will bring me to my airship. 